Okay, so today, another FAA Part 107 test prep question of the week. And this week we are dealing with latitude and longitude. This continues to be a subject that causes a lot of confusion for new drone pilots, especially if you don't have any aviation background. Uh, latitude and longitude isn't exactly um, intuitive, and so sometimes it takes a little bit of work to figure this one out. So the question this week is, what is the approximate latitude and longitude of the Little York Airport in the figure below? So here's a relatively zoomed out picture. Um, here are the question answers. And just so it's clear, the Little York Airport is the R in the circle right there. So first and foremost, the um, important thing to remember with latitude and longitude, for purposes of latitude, the equator is a line of latitude, and we know that the equator has a degree of zero degrees. Um, so if you think about the lines of latitude, like the rungs on a ladder, so latitude and ladder, then you recognize that each of the lines of latitude runs east to west, um, which means that the 39 degree of latitude that we see uh, north of the airport um, is consistently going up. So the further south you go, the smaller the numbers are going to get. Um, the same with lines of longitude. Um, the prime meridian in Greenwich, England is the zero degree line of longitude. And we know that the United States is further west of England. So the further west we go, the larger the numbers will get. So there's also the 86 degree line for the line of longitude in this picture. Um, so those are the two uh, prevalent markings that we have on this part of the sectional. So knowing that, um, knowing that the airport is south of the 39 degree latitude line, we know that it can't be anything higher than 39 degrees because it's not above the 39 degree mark. So we can go ahead and mark out the last answer. That's not the correct one. And we can do the same thing with the um, the lines of longitude. We know that it is east of the 86 degree line that we just looked at. So we know that it has to be something less than 86 degrees. So the second option that we can mark out is this first one um, because it's not more than 86 degrees, um, which means that the airport sits on at this coordinates, roughly this coordinates. Um, now I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on why it is here because it probably that probably doesn't clarify things other than the fact that we can mark out those other two as being incorrect. That's a really good way to go through on the test if you get a latitude and longitude question. Go through and remember the further north you go the higher the lines of latitude are going to get. The further west you go, the higher the lines of longitude are going to get. But it's probably more important to have a, a, a good understanding of why this answer is actually correct as opposed to why the other two answers are incorrect. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail here. If you look here, this line, like we talked about, is the 80s, uh, or the 39th uh, degree mark uh, of latitude. Down here is the 38th degree line of latitude. So you'll recognize that in between right here is another line, but that's not its own line of, of latitude necessarily. That just marks the halfway point between 38 degrees and 39 degrees um, latitude. So the halfway point, if you think about each degree of latitude being like an hour, there are 60 minutes in an hour and so that halfway point in between will mark 30 minutes. Um, each of the lines that looks like this, the larger hash marks, those are going to be uh, 10 degrees. So if you think about, if you look at the 38th degree um, of latitude, then you go halfway up, you have 38 degrees and 30 minutes, then you go up another 10 degrees, that's 38 degrees and 40 minutes, so that places the Little York Airport right above that at 38 degrees and roughly 42 minutes. So we're going to do the same thing for the lines of longitude as well. Um, first we're going to look at this line, which is the 86 degree line for the line of longitude. Um, and then if we look right here, there's another 10 degree mark. So uh, we have the 86 degree line of longitude. And then if you back up, 10, to, uh, 10 minutes, you're going to have 85 degrees and 50 minutes. 
So then if you extrapolate between those two markings, the Little York Airport is at roughly 85 degrees and 55 minutes of longitude. So let's go back to our answer. That's what we figured out, was that it was 80, 38 degrees and 42 minutes north latitude and 85 degrees, 55 minutes west longitude.